How much water in the gas tank will cause damage? Ah, the old water in the gas tank conundrum. It's like putting sugar in your salt shaker. It just doesn't work out. Here's the deal. It really doesn't take much. Water is denser than gasoline, so it'll settle at the bottom, right where the fuel line starts. That's bad for a number of reasons. First, water doesn't compress. Inside an engine, where pistons are compressing the mixture to then combust it, water doesn't play along. In the best case scenario, your engine just stalls because it can't burn water. In the worst case, you're looking at serious internal damage due to what's called hydrolock. Water enters the combustion chamber, and because it's incompressible, something's gotta give. And the answer is usually a bent piston rod. Not small potatoes and not cheap to fix. Then there's the rust issue. Water promotes rust inside the fuel system. Over time, this could lead again to major problems. So, what amount of water is too much? In all honesty, even small amounts like an ounce or two can start to cause issues with modern fuel systems, especially if that water has a chance to sit and accumulate. What can be done about it? If you suspect water in your gas tank, there's a product called heat or similar fuel additives that can help remove water by binding with it and dragging it through the engine harmlessly. They're like social workers for troubled engines. Here in Portland, where the rains could convince you we're more sea than city, it's especially important to keep an eye on your car for these kinds of issues. Because let's be real, nobody wants their car to turn into an impromptu high chemistry experiment gone wrong right as they cross the Hawthorne Bridge. Keep it dry and keep it running. That's what I say.